find the limit. If we plug in zero, we get the cosine of zero, which is one, minus the cosine of zero, which is one, over zero. So we get zero over zero. So we should use something called L'Hopital's rule, which basically says we can just take the derivative of each piece. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is negative sine mx, times the derivative of the inside, which is m, by the chain rule, minus, or rather plus, sine nx, right, because it's already negative, nx times n, all over the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x. And here's the bad part. If we plug in 0, we're going to get 0 over 0 again, because the sine of 0 is 0. So we use L'Hopital's rule again. The derivative of sine is cosine, so we'll get negative m cosine mx times the derivative of the inside, which is m, and then plus cosine nx times the derivative of the inside, which is n, so we'll have n squared all over 2. Now we can plug in 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so we get negative m squared plus n squared, and it's all over 2, and that should be the final answer.